which will soon be confiscated. And for this very day, a Syracusan merchant is apprehended for arrival here, and not being able to buy out his life, according to the statute of the town, dies ere the weary sun set in the west. There is your money that I had to keep. <clears throat> Go bear it to the centaur where we host. And stay there, Dromeo, till I come to thee. Within this hour it will be dinner time. Till that I will, uh, I will view the manners of the city, peruse the traders, gaze upon the buildings, then return and sleep within mine inn, for with long travel I am stiff and weary. Get thee away. Many a man would take you at your word and go indeed, having so good a mean. <laughs> a trusty villain, sir, that very oft when I am dull with care and melancholy, lightens my humor with his merry jests. What, will you walk with me about the town and then come to mine inn and dine with me? Oh, I am invited, sir, to certain merchants of whom I hope to make much benefit. I crave your pardon. Soon at five o'clock, please, you, I'll meet with you upon the mart and afterward consort with you till bedtime. My present business calls me from you now. Well, very well till then. <laughs> I will lose myself and wander up and down to view the city. Sir, I commend you to your own content. He that commends me to mine own content commends me to the thing I cannot get. I, to the world, am like a drop of water that in the ocean seeks another drop, who, falling there, find his fellow forth, unseen, inquisitive, and confounds himself. So I, to find a mother and a brother, in quest of them, unhappy lose myself. Oh, it is the almanac of my true date. <laughs> what now? How chance thou art returned so soon? Returned so soon? Rather, approach too late. The cape on burns. Ah! The pig falls from the spit. Ah! The hour has struck twelve upon the bell. My mistress, oh. my mistress has struck one upon my cheek. She is so hot because the meat is cold. The meat is cold because you come out home. You come out home because you had no stomach. Well, you had no stomach having broke your fast. And we that know what it is to fast and pray are penitent to your default today. <laughs> Stop in your wind, sir, I pray, and tell me. Where is the money I gave you? Oh! The sixpence I had on Wednesday last to pay the saddler for my mistress's crumper? Oh, the saddler has to, I kept it not, sir. <clears throat> I am not in a sportive humor now. Tell me, I pray, where is the money? We being strangers here, how darest thou trust so great a charge from thine own custody? <laughs> I pray you, sir, as you sit at dinner, I, for my mistress, come to you post. I return without, I shall be post indeed, for she will score your fault upon my pate. Come, Dromeo, come. These jests are out of season. Reserve them till a merrier hour than this. Where is the gold I gave in charge to thee? To me? Yeah. You gave no gold to me, sir. <sighs> come on, sir knave. Have done your foolishness. How have you disposed your charge? Well, my charge was to fetch you from the mart, home to your house, the Phoenix, to dinner. My mistress and her sister stay for you there. In what safe place have you bestowed my money? Or I shall break that merry sconce of yours. Where is the thousand marks thou hadst of me? I have some marks of yours upon my pate and some of my mistress's marks upon my shoulders, but not a thousand marks between you both. Now should I repay your master those again, perchance you would not bear them patiently? <laughs> <laughs> mistress marks? <clears throat> What mistress, slave, hast thou? Your worship's wife? My mistress at the Phoenix? She that fasts till you come home to dinner? She that prays that you will hie you home to dinner? What? Will you flout me thus? Unto the face? Being forbid? There, there. Ah, take thou that, oh. knave! <laughs> Oh, 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 nay, sir, come on, now I pray you hold your hand. Nay, and if you will not, I'll take my heels. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Upon my life, by some device or other, the villain is all of all my money. They say this town is full of cousiners. Aye, as nimble jugglers that deceive the eye, and dark-working sorcerers that change the mind, and soul-killing witches that that deform the body, disguise cheaters, prating mountebanks, and many such like liberties of sin. Oh, if it proves so, I'll be gone the sooner. 
I'll to the centaur and seek this slave out. I greatly fear my money is not safe. 